operation for this is pretty much just like the XBZ, at least in terms of the magazine system. Uh, to load one dart, open the bolt, close it. So this breech pin is pushing the dart right about here uh, so that it's in front of this T. Uh, to fire, uh, we're going to open the piston here and close it. And that pushes air into the back of this blaster which comes out here through this tube and down into this T. Immediately after I made the magazine system for the XBZ, I noticed it was kind of eating my fingers as I was putting darts into it. First magazine system sort of relied on some voodoo timing where uh, the doors had to close before the dart or the follower would come up and collide with them. This was usually not a problem because this was usually the order in which things happened, but depending on how you push your darts in, they might not happen that way. To make this a more consistent phenomenon, uh, in my next version, I basically just put a hole uh, between the doors. So, uh, the doors still work basically the same, although instead of interlocking in the middle, they just meet. Uh, you just push darts in. But what's different is after or before the doors have closed, you can move your finger so that you're not opening the doors with your finger, and your finger is just in the middle here which means you're holding the darts down uh, and the follower and all that, giving the doors uh, an opportunity to close on their own. This makes it a lot easier if anything gets out of position to fix it. Usually you can just stick your finger in there and just kind of wiggle the darts up and down and they'll fix themselves. It also reduces the amount that this door eats your fingers, but it doesn't entirely eliminate it. So, unfortunately, uh, these darts are not a uh, uniform squishiness. Uh, the head is much more rigid than the back. And so as you're mashing these darts into the magazine, uh, you really need to push uh, farther up towards the head to make sure that it goes in properly. If you just push in the middle, you'll see there's a tendency for it to bend, and there's also a tendency for it to not go in straight. Fix that. The magazine works great so long as you push towards the front as you're uh, putting these in, and then you kind of slide your finger back and come out through the hole. But um, although that technique works well and it's fairly intuitive, uh, as you're doing that, your initial push through is through the top of the teeth, and so the teeth are still eating you a little bit. So like a lot of my blasters, this isn't really everything it could be. I wanted to make a version of this that I actually thought was good. There are a couple things I would change, and the first is I would start with a different hamp. This one's always been kind of a lemon, uh, and so it's never really been built into anything permanent. And that's why it was just laying around waiting for me to put a magazine system on it. Anyways, that aside, the other major weakness for this is that in between each shot, I have to separately and manually pull this breech pin out which isn't even retained, it can fall out completely, and then push it forward to load a dart. Ideally, this would just be linked to the firing stroke, uh, which is a little bit tricky. You can either have the breech be spring-loaded, which is tough because your spring, you don't want it so powerful it's jamming darts and crushing them. However, the spring does need to be powerful enough to consistently push the dart into position. Uh, in many cases, this would be through a somewhat tight segment here to make a bit of a seal. The other trick that you can use is, uh, most basically, uh, you could tie a string to this and the end of this so that when it gets to the very outside end of the stroke, uh, it then closes. Anyways, that's all for this guy. Uh, stay tuned for the next update to a fixed magazine system. I promise you the next one will be a lot weirder than this.